Hey everyone, Daniela here, and today I want to talk about my five tips of what not to do when selling your house. So tip number one, don't overprice your property. You really want to do your homework on the price point of the home. It is important because it is going to allow you to not only introduce the home to the right buyer pool, but it will also ensure that you obtain the best price for the property in the sale. So take advice from your agent, get all the data, and try to get as close to market value as you can possibly predict. Number two, don't forget repairs. Um, if you neglect repairs or little things around the house, the property literally just won't show at it its best light. Additionally, you wanna keep in mind curb appeal. So we wanna make sure that the exterior is clean and trimmed and everything looks really beautiful. It doesn't really matter, you know, the price point of the home. We just want to make sure the home is shown in its best light and really presents well to that potential buyer. Number three is don't over personalize the space. Less is more. So don't over personalize your space in the sense of having a lot of the things that you would like in your own home as far as decor and that kind of thing. I like um, our listings to look as empty as possible really, really, really streamlined. It's almost the opposite of staging. You want to take as much out as you can. You want it to look fresh and open and clean and organized. Um, so we don't want to have too many of your own personal items. This includes religious items. This includes anything that might deter a buyer from considering the property. Number four, don't show up during showings. I can't stress this enough. If you're looking to sell your property, you do not want to surprise anybody at the home. We want the showing to go smoothly. We want people to feel comfortable. We don't want them to feel that they can't, you know, express their thoughts to their agent. And of course, it's super awkward when you see a homeowner pop up for a showing and ask for feedback, you know, leave that to the agents. We're, we're in communication um, regarding all that kind of stuff. You want to give them their space and allow them to actually experience the property for themselves. And last but not least, don't forget about closing costs. Depending on your situation, um, you can always factor in your lawyer fees, which should range anywhere between, you know, a thousand and eleven hundred. Anything around that is is reasonable. I wouldn't go too much past that just in a regular straightforward real estate transaction. Um, so lawyer fees, land transfer tax if you're purchasing as well, and any other costs, movers, moving trucks, storage units, anything along those lines. You might even want to have professional cleaners come into your new home and clean the property and come into your home that you sold prior to closing to give it a once over as well. So factor that all in and don't forget. So those are my five, I would say, top tips when selling. If you have any other questions or you would like to speak to me directly about selling your property or purchasing a property, you can always reach out to me on this video or contact me um, on any of my social media handles. Daniela at Night in Real Estate on my Instagram handle, or you can contact me directly from this website.